So the first Valentine's Day character really wasn't all that. But Valentine's Day Priscilla though? Woo wee This character is fire. Not just because she's actually a fire unit, but like, you know, she's literally a fire. Valentine's Day Priscilla has pretty much everything you could ever want, from damage buffs, to damage res, to archgen, to healing, literally every single thing you could possibly want is in this character. I absolutely love her. So in today's video, we're going to be taking her over against a bunch of different content, seeing how well she performs in that content, and of course, giving you my overall thoughts on the unit as we go. Oh, one more thing, huge shout out to my man Caleb for allowing me to do this showcase. So here she is, Valentine's Day Priscilla. As mentioned before, she is all about supporting the team and really helping them out. She's not a damage dealer by any means. She doesn't have high multipliers or anything like that, but very, very good supporting abilities. As you see in her passives here, she has two main ones you're going to be looking out for. The first one is Fire Master Level 3. This increases allies' fire damage by 30%, and then the other one is Love's Destiny. This gives her four arc age all the time, no matter what. Insanely good, and then will not flinch when she's above 80% HP or more. As you see with the kit, skills, accuracy buff, Art is where the heal comes in. Also a cleanse as well. I forgot to mention that. That's a very strong art right there. Really wish it gave stats res too, but it is what it is. True art is the fire res down on the enemy plus a arch shin as long as we're above 50% or more HP. Super art is where you're going to be buffing up your physical damage by 150% and you reduce all allies damage taken by 30% for 30 seconds, which is insanely valuable. As you see with her slot, she has a five star physical, five star support, and four star heal. If you take her all the way up to LB7, that four star heal will become a four star magic in my opinion not really worth it in terms of best in slot here for the five star physical you can really go with any type of good arch and item you want to harusame Shuizanagi, anything like that will be very good on this character. For the Pfizer support, if you're in sustain, which is where I feel like you gotta be mainly using her, just going with a strong AoE Arshin item will do you wonders. If you are nuking, um, you know, the usual stuff, type zero, that kind of thing. Four star heal, you can go with a few different items. If you're looking for burst heals, flower cane, pucks pouch, that type of stuff. If you need a cleanse, Keratos. Oh, and one more thing I need to tell you before I forget, the crush slots. If you want to buff up the heal on her art, you can give her heal amount up so you get even more heals than just 50% because this heal already heals a ton. Like 50% HP is ridiculous. You could also go equipment CT because she does have the five star support and the four star heals. So having both those on a lower cooldown will be very beneficial to you. Or you could go with art gauge up just to help jump start her a little bit and try to get her quicker into her true art. But I don't think she really needs art gauge up too much and sustain. It definitely will help her, but she already has a non-stop four arts per second. So, you know, she's going to do good no matter what. I know we didn't get to see Valentine's Day Miranda's animations in the showcase video, but these Valentine's Day characters have really cute and unique animations um, especially when it comes to like certain arts and true arts and stuff but as you see here we got the attack skill just a little blast in front of her um, actually they're little hearts I just not realize what they were but that's kind of cute we have the art which spawns a little tea set spins around she heals um actually as soon as you activate this art you instantly heal which is insanely good uh the true art is I think it's the Haruto bomb isn't it yeah <laughs> that's cute that that's really really cute i like that that's nice and then the super art i think she actually uses her bow for this oh yeah it's pretty much like her phantom bullet animation to an extent but instead of doing the phantom bullet she spawns a heart crushes it and then like you know shoots it that's cool overall her animations are like just very very playful very fun very out there um I i'm just gonna say like it's easily like these animations to me are like a 9 out of 10 i would maybe say a 10 out of 10 if the attack and skill was like a little bit different but they're virtually the same just with a little bit more effects happening i wanted to go a mono fire team for this because mono fire is going to get insanely good at later on especially whenever summer iris and stuff comes out but this team right here is still going to do absolute wonders they work insanely well together for one we got passive damage up from priscilla passive of DR from Sunraku and even more Archgen on the skill from Ren. And then Demon Edge Burwick is just here because I, I decided to use him. I don't know. I just wanted to use him. I kind of hope he's going to be fast enough though because this team is kind of a little bit slow at times. Or well, he's a little bit slow. We should be fine. As you see, we already have the Archgen going with everybody. Going off with the Sunraku. Sunraku is probably just going to hit stupidly hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big damage. Big damage. Also, another thing is too, with freaking Demon Edge Burwick, he, we technically have another healer on the team. I'm gonna pop this to try to heal some more. We have the heals from Priscilla, so I really don't even need to be on this duty right now. We could use the art here just to kind of lower burn res. Or, no, does it lower fire res? I don't remember. Either way, um, Demon Edge Burwick popping off right now. Let's see, is that is it even big damage? Oh no, the freaking damage res fell off. No, not the Demon Edge Burwick damage res, bro. Oh my god, there's no way. Oh, damage canceled. Okay. 
I'm gonna save the team real quick. Watch this. Watch this save. Look at the heels. Look, we're, we're invincible because of the heels. Fortunately, the only bad part about Demon Edge Verwick and Valentine's Day Priscilla is that their actual uh, physical damage doesn't stack with each other, which really sucks. But still, very good all around. You saw how well that worked out. And because we had two characters that were able to have healing, one from increasing the max HP of everyone and the other one giving us just a 50% burst heal instantaneously. It's crazy. It was, you can't, if you time it right and you're paying attention, you're almost invincible. As you see with the damage there, 22 million from the men, Sunraku looking absolutely godly. As you see, Valentine's Day Priscilla, unfortunately, is not gonna be hitting that hard because her multipliers are really low. Like her highest multiplier is 80,000 on her super art. But if you look at the recovery, she 2k priscilla <laughs> jesus christ it's kind of wild to think about too because you only get better as time goes on with this team because that little like initial phase where it's kind of a little bit of build up almost vanishes to an extent when you have summer iris on the team because she can just pretty much instantly go into her super art if she's set up correctly i don't know what this special x hyper is ebony and crimson this is from the priscilla the og fight i don't know who you fight in this maybe it's a pretty decent fight with some beefy hp we'll have to see if you die if this boss dies instantly i'm gonna be a little bit upset oh wait it's fire damage up yeah um that yeah this guy's gonna die instantly to us once we start popping off with everything that's so tough yeah this guy is just gonna get cooked he's gonna get cooked by sunraku yep yep everybody's gonna cook i do i really wish we could do some type of co-op summoner's road or something i feel like that's the only way to really get a lot of like good footage for like this level of teaming everything else in the game is just gonna get decimated by these units which is crazy i don't have my my revives on so we're gonna see if we can just tank it straight up and if we can then that's cool because my philosophy here is that maybe if we raise our max hp high enough right we can just kind of be chilling but really the only two things that's raising our hp in this fight are berwick and leaves a smart skirt down here so i don't know if we're going to be able to take it maybe we can i mean we don't have that much damage res if summer iris was out we would have even more damage res on the team we'd have about 45 percent passive dr we're gonna see if we can take this i don't know if we can man i'm gonna be honest i don't know if we can maybe maybe don't die berwick oh wait, no it's not berwick it's sunraku oh my god he almost died jesus christ look at him but look at this heal though <laughs> instantly back to max hp man i'm gonna pop this again just to keep the heals going and also the arch to everyone just keep it pushing man just keep it pushing try to make sure everybody's topped up on hp as much as possible we got the angelic shooter coming out this is even more dr and damage um oh i think we survived it yeah we did that is crazy pretty much no damage mitigation tank on the team apart from uh valentine's day priscilla which she really only activated her super i think towards the end there still was able to survive with that because that's 30 percent dr from her actively 15 percent passively from sunraku so that's 45 percent Jesus, I'm telling you, this team is disgusting. If you are a new player and you got Sunraku and Valentine's Day Priscilla, you are vibing. You don't need these other two characters like Rin and Demon Edge Berwick. Sure, Rin is like another arch nerd to an extent with her skill, and she makes your team a little bit faster, and she can also provide a lot of damage buffs to your team, but you don't need her. Demon Edge Berwick is just here as an accessory. That's all he's here for. I just wanted to use him because he looked cool. Literally, these two are insanely good. Like, if I was like a new player getting into this game and I really wanted to like kind of hard focus into this mono fire setup, I would probably save, um, yeah, of course, you know, summon on Star God Lisa that's coming out in like a few weeks. But then after that, I would save and hard focus on like BF Mira and Summer Iris. And then once I got those two characters, I would be vibing and just probably saving for whatever's the next meta fire character to come out. I really have no negatives with her because here's the craziest part. Let's say you fall below that HP threshold, right? For this true art where you have to be above 50%, use your art. Use your art, boom, you're above 50% now. It is ridiculous. I guess one thing that we can do, I can show you like how she would kind of function in a nuke, but I don't really think she's that good of a nuker or like nuking support character or whatever. So we're gonna be using the, pretty much the exact same team. The only difference is we're now using Gabby Maru just to buff up fire damage a little bit more. And we're gonna see how well we do here. There we go, okay, boom. We should be fine, let me see. Uh, big damage? Yeah, big damage. The only bad part is with this team is that with freaking Rin, she doesn't go fast enough to apply the damage res down, which sucks. Still, this is actually a pretty solid fire team. It works really well. And also, technically, this could be a farming team for you if you actually farm Sunraku up and you got uh, all of his luck gems and everything. We're gonna try the special EX against the Miranda fight. I think this will be okay. Maybe, maybe not. I know like she takes more damage, if I'm not mistaken, from 
like characters as you see here we have all of our damage buffs going off plus we have the physical damage up and then yeah that's just gg four seconds with that one yeah this team's definitely a lot better than the rin one rin would be better technically i think as a damage debuffer but the problem is is that like i said before her animations are too freaking slow as see with the details nine no 10 million from Sunraku, five million from gabby mario which is crazy because gabby is only using this man's true art he's not even using the super art he i mean he got super crits still too but like he's not even using the super art yeah that was valentine's day priscilla in all of her glory what a unit ladies and gentlemen this character is easily one of the best ascended characters in the entire game if i was going to put her on a tier list she would be an easy double s right out the gate but ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all again for coming out. This is Beer P. Huge thanks again to my man Caleb for allowing me to do this showcase. And last but not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.